Hi guys, it's Heather. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I give you a look inside my typical weekly bedroom cleaning routine. So if you want to see how I clean my bedroom start to finish, then just keep on watching. So the first thing I do is make my bed. I feel like this just starts the process and I'm a little bit more motivated to clean the rest of the room once my bed is made. To start the cleaning process, I like to start on the right side of my room and then move in a clockwise direction. Um, I also like to keep a little basket nearby, which is super handy for putting like little items in that belong in a different room. So then I can just go ahead and put those away. Now I'm just folding some of the laundry that I had left over there on the floor so that it's ready to be put away um, at the end once I'm done with my full clean. Now I'm just continuing on cleaning the rest of the room, um, putting items that don't belong there that need to go downstairs um, out into the hallway so that I can bring them downstairs later. Once all the items are put away and the surfaces are cleared off, I move on to dusting and I like to start again on the right side of my room, working my way clockwise throughout the room. And I make it a priority to dust at least once a week in my bedroom. I just feel that it helps with like all of the allergens that may be floating throughout the room. Another thing I do on a weekly or bi-weekly basis is dust the blades on the fan. Um, if you don't dust them, it traps a ton, a ton of dust. Um, what I would also recommend doing is using a pillowcase if you haven't dusted them in a while. This way the dust will be trapped inside the pillowcase and it won't go all over the room. So now moving on to using an all-purpose surface spray to wipe down all of the surfaces. Um, I just mix in a few drops of palm olive soap with some water and mix it into a spray bottle. And this solution is a gentle cleaner and it also disinfects the surfaces. And I always recommend using a microfiber cleaning cloth. Um, this way you won't get that paper towel dust residue that will be left behind. And I always like to light an aromatherapy candle. This one is Vanilla and Patchouli by Bath & Body Works. Moving on to cleaning the windows, I am using pure white distilled vinegar. And I'm also using that same vinegar to clean the mirror. 
The last thing I do before I put all of my clothes away is vacuum. I like to vacuum last in the bedroom once all like the dust has been removed and the surfaces have been wiped down. Um, vacuuming is the last thing that I will do to finish off my weekly cleaning routine. And to me, there's nothing more satisfying than seeing the vacuum lines on the carpet. So once I've cleaned up the bedroom, the last thing I typically do is fold all the laundry and then put my clothes away. So I like to make three separate piles, um, one for my daughter, one for me, and then one for my husband. So once all the laundry has been folded, I go ahead and move the clothes into the closet and put them away. So that concludes my weekly bedroom cleaning routine. I hope you found this video inspirational and motivating. When I don't feel like cleaning or organizing or getting things put away, I always love to watch videos on cleaning and organization. I find that it just motivates me and it gets me excited um, to clean and just kind of get that natural high you get after your space is nice and clean and organized. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I post videos weekly on all things organization and beauty. I hope to see you in my next video. And I hope everyone has a great day. Bye, guys.